Joe from Art Alien TV. Now today I've got something really cool to show you. I've just found this and I'm going to crack on with it straight away. This is going to be a short video today. Um, I'm just going to show you a few things in this area and the an adjacent gigapan of this area as well, showing some of the same things from a slightly different angle. Now this one is Sol 901, Perseverance, mass left and mass right. The top image here is mass left this one here right and the bottom strip here just showing the bottom area is the mass right view they're very similar but slightly different okay now what i found straight away in this which i missed when i initially did this um about a year or so ago i did this gigapan but i didn't upload it i wasn't happy with it couldn't get the images to line up but i've had another go at it and there's this strange rock here we have on one end of the rock what seems to be a relief carving you could call it an alien maybe and this person seems to be sitting on the back or riding either a vehicle or sitting on the back of an animal or something like that it's hard to work out exactly what's going on here this looks like it's quite badly eroded but the fact that this thing is even visible now means that it's not completely eroded and we can still see some detail. In other words, I think because of the way it's situated and the way it's facing with this large rock next to it here, um, it's been partially protected from the wind by this large boulder next to it on the right here. There's another view of it up here. Let's look at the, that's the mass right view. Let's look at the mass left view here. Now the colors are very slightly different on these, but pretty close. Let's go back a little bit. I'll show you the magnifier again. And then I'm going to show you the enhanced clips I've got down below, which are much darker and more contrast added. We can, you can see more detail. There's something, a long thing sticking up, but maybe an arm. And there's like an arm or thing coming off the back here. And you can see this thing that it seems to be sitting on. Right? Now, I appreciate you may not be able to see that really well. So down here, I've got a high contrast clip of it a relief carving of an alien sitting on something now you can actually see a head here which is what stood out straight away at me we've got a head we've got a body here we've got an arm here and we have this thing down below now this may be an animal it may be a vehicle i don't know it could be a boat it could be some kind of machinery i don't know whether it's riding it or sat behind it it's hard to work out exactly what's going on here, but there's some complex detail in here. Now, this one's been darkened more, and it stands out better, and it's also been sharpened a bit more as well. And you can see we've got this long thing sticking out here, like a rope or an arm coming out. We've got an arm, a little arm in the shoulder there. We've got a head here, right? We've got something sticking up here, like an arm or something. And then we have this thing underneath, which kind of looks a bit like an animal with a beak or something at this, this end. And then we have some complex detail on the back of it here, on top of it. Now, let me know what you think. I mean, I'm, I'm struggling with this a little bit, but it does look like a depiction of a person, a Martian, um, a humanoid of some sort sitting on something now what that thing is is down to interpretation of course right so let me know what you think because it's, it's quite hard to work these things out there's the one i just showed you just there and if i go across here we've got a negative of the same thing right and you can see there's some complex detail on here this isn't a sort of just a random rock i don't think with just erosion on it this this is too complex and too specific it seems to be just random erosion it's very windy a lot of the time they have sandstorms quite a lot but the actual wind doesn't do that much erosion as much as it would on earth because the, the air pressure is way way lower than ours it's it's a, a tiny fraction of what ours is the air pressure apparently which means that things would take a lot longer to erode as much as they do on earth so these things may be much much older but they haven't eroded as much as you might think.
We've got a head, we've got something sticking up here, we've got like an arm or something, like a rope coming out here or the, something like that. We've got a little arm there and some complex detail here, like a machine or like I said, like an animal or a boat or a... Could it be someone sat on the back of a creature? Or could it be some person sat on the back of a machine? It's very strange, this detail here, this pointed part. And bear in mind, some of this may have broken away here. So we, we may be missing something there, which is why it's a bit hard to work out. It's a bit of a struggle to work out what this detail is, but some of you may be able to see that better than me. They have better eyes than me, okay? Now, there are a few other things in here. I'm just going to show you very briefly. There's this rock here with a square hole in it, just here. A lot of these rocks are hollow, and I don't think they're just rocks. I think a lot of these have been modified. They're eroded, of course, but... I actually think that some of these are actual chambers where things may have been put in, i.e. like a skull or some bones or artifacts or something like that, right? I do think that some of these may be burial niches. Now, I've shown many burial chambers before, but there are niches in some of these larger rocks and formations as well that look like they've been cut and, and have now been eroded since. You can actually see inside. It's really weird. Here it is, look, you can actually see right inside. It's cut out inside, it looks. Interesting, right? And there's some weird detail right here as well, which doesn't look normal to me. Some complex, weird details going on here, just here. I've seen some of these before, so I went back and I've got Sol 897 here. So that was taken a few days before, four days before. And we have some more of these hollow formations. Now, the one I showed you a minute ago is up here, right? The one with the square niche or chamber in it there. So we've seen that already from the other view. But below it, there's another hollow one here, which looks like it's completely hollowed out in there, and you could probably crawl inside that. And I thought, wow, that's interesting. And then I looked over to the left, and there's another one over here, which actually looks like an igloo. Now, I have shown images before, not far from here, of what looked like little igloos, stone igloos, with a little carved out entrance. Now, I'm not saying that's what this is, but it's similar. Initially, when you look at it, you think, oh, yeah, it's just a rock, right? Okay, yeah, right. It's made of rock, okay. When you look at it closely, if you actually look carefully, you can actually see that this is made from different parts, right? Overlapping parts. This bit here is on top of another piece below here, right? So there's two parts there. So there's a lower part and an upper kind of part here. And this part overlaps this one here. And this one goes underneath that. And there's another one back here as well, which overlaps this one. So it almost looks like they that these have been placed together rather than randomly formed. This actually looks like a construction, a primitive type of dome construction. And this may actually be a burial dolmen or perhaps even, dare I say it, a house, a small domed house. Now we're only seeing about half of this. I'm assuming there's quite a lot of this buried here in the sand. The sand's drifted up against it here and it's kind of filled it in. But if you were to dig this sand away here, just here, by this entrance here, it may reveal that there's an actual whole complex of structures here. Who knows, right? If you go back, you can see this is it's quite heavily buried in sand. The sand's drifted right over something here. So there's something down there. That is interesting. And there, there's loads of these hollow rocks in the area. Now, I'm not saying all of these are houses. I'm not saying all of these are burial niches. A lot of them look natural. 
but some of these look like they were constructed. In other words, they look like they were these rocks were placed together and on top of each other very carefully and fitted. There's another one here, which looks like it's kind of hollow. And the top part looks like it's been fitted on top. All right, look at that. I'll go back and show you the magnifier. Um, now, you've got to bear in mind that if this was a, a primitive culture or a fairly primitive culture, they may have built dwellings out of, out of rocks and lived in them. All right? Conversely to that, these actually may be burial dolmens and used to bury dead people inside. All right? That is also a possibility. They seem a bit too small to be something to actually live inside, right? So they're more likely to be dolmens, and some of them are more elaborate, and some of them are less elaborate. But this is a good example of something that initially looks normal or natural. But when you look at the finer details, you can see overlapping parts that look like they've been fitted together quite carefully here. So check some of these things out, let me know what you think. And also, if you're a new subscriber, please leave a comment. I've gained a, quite a lot of new subscribers in the last few months. And it'd be nice to hear from some of you from around the world to let me know where you're from. If you're new to this channel, that there are hundreds and hundreds of examples like this that I've shown going back many years now. Things like buildings, vehicles, objects on the ground, even things like weaponry and, and uh, stuff like that but many, many carvings and statues and remains all over the place, okay? Hundreds and hundreds of examples going back 11 years on my channel now, okay? So bear that in mind if you're new, at least watch a few of my previous videos to, to compare. Check out the links in the description below to this, these images and also check out the card links coming up in a minute as well, which will also be at the bottom of the description for you to check out similar things all over the place weird chambers weird carvings all sorts of weird stuff thanks for watching everybody i'll see you soon